And now to the Dutch skater, Emilia Salukin, a skater who, to me, described the sport as her life and passion. And how wonderful that we are now getting to watch a skater who has such adoration for the sport. And with that in mind, we wish her nothing but happiness and joy showcasing that now in her short program to the music Skip to the Bip and Mash Canada. <laughs> Well, a pretty good performance for Amelia. She landed the triple flip. I think it's probably a little bit under-rotated. But the approach for this is a little slower approach, a little scratchy in order to spin the rotation to get around. Okay, this is a good stage of development. She's going to want to add more speed going in, add more speed coming out, of course, more flow. But gets the job done, and that's the mission here at Juniors early on in your development stage we'll take a look at some of these elements you'll see how um, it's just a little bit slow going in but she gets around i question the flip we'll see that yeah it's actually downgraded here it is you can see yeah that's a forward landing and it is downgraded in the system let's take a look here on this triple loop that looked a little bit better better speed coming in a lot of turning on that takeoff and that is going to be um, it's just being checked out now on the replay for the technical panel. Here's the double axle. Again, scratching on the topic right there. Slows it down, but gets all the way around. So no problem with that. Now, actually, the loop is also downgraded. So that momentum that she doesn't have going into the takeoffs slows her down enough to not get around. She needs to carry a little bit more speed on those takeoffs, Mark. Yeah, and... See... <coughs> 
<laughs> Excuse me, some pressing buttons as well. Um, Amelia had explained that she'd had this horrendous leg injury and she credits so much to her coach in the belief in her as the reason that she was able to return. So she's so grateful to Daria Popova for helping her to get back. And, you know, I don't want to gloss over the injury too much, but I just want to acknowledge the, the support the coach has done to help the skater to push them back in this competitive arena. And although obviously both the coach and, and hopefully the skater will be mindful of what will happen with regard to the score because it'll be frustrating to think, oh, I, I did the combo, I did the flip. Yeah. They'll realise hopefully not too distant, you know, the rotation is the issue, but given the injury, just the fact that she's back out there, that's something that she's proud to, to be able to see. Yeah, it's good. I mean, we often talk about the injuries that these athletes have had. Why do we talk about that? Everybody has injuries in their career, even mm. non-athletes. But the point is, is that it slows the process, the learning process down. And so she's learning to get back on the ice. Maybe that's why she's a little bit slower going into those jumps at the moment. But she's got a nice, straight, strong, fa uh, fast rotation position, but not enough momentum to carry her all the way through the rotation required. That'll come in time, I'm sure as she gains more confidence. Let's take a look at the short program scores for Milia. Her personal best is 41.42, and she's gonna fall short of that with a 36.16, but it does put Amelia Solukin from the Netherlands currently into first place.